CDX Sports with Mo Carter. And good evening, everyone. In a week's time, Team USA will be seen right here in the Tennessee Valley as they compete in this year's U.S. Paralympic Cycling Open. The competition kicks off next weekend, but ahead of the big day, Kayla Carlisle catching up with some of the featured athletes who will be competing, and she has more. Paralympic sports sometimes gets a reputation of not being challenging enough. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth, especially when talking about Paralympic cycling. For two-time Paralympic medalist Sam Bosco, getting into paracycling was a tough sell to her father, who was afraid she was limiting herself. Little did he know her disability would only make her stronger. After seeing a photo of another racer biking with only one leg, Sam's dad decided to try it for himself. He unclipped one leg and tried pedaling with one leg and basically riding like how this guy that he's seen in the photo was riding. And he said, I have a whole newfound respect for this. Paralympic sports can be an incredible way to gain perspective, especially after this past year. The pandemic has taught people from all walks of life a little lesson. One thing I've learned is you can't pretend to know what people are going through. Travis Gertner is a two-time Paralympic gold medalist who has traded his focus from wheelchair basketball now to paracycling. He says next week's race is all about inspiration and competition. You're going to see fast bikes. <laughs> You're going to see people, you know, you think of disabled sports sometimes and you think, well, that might be a little bit slower or, you know, in basketball, people said, can you shoot three pointers? Said, Absolutely. It's no different. Uh, we just roll a little bit instead of jumping. Um, and so you're going to see folks doing things on bikes that I don't think you would have expected. So it's, it's going to be exciting. One racer in particular even has ties to North Alabama. Jimmy Whitmore will be making a return to Alabama after a 14 year hiatus. She reigns from California and is a Paralympic gold medalist, but her family lives out in the shoals. I remember swimming in the, the shoals area and I was like, oh my gosh, that's like muscle shoals from the song. And so um, I remember going to a somewhere around there and doing my swim workouts. So it'll be really good to kind of be back to a place that I haven't been in 14 years. All three of these racers will be competing next weekend. The event is free of charge and spectators are encouraged to bring posters to cheer on the athletes. You can find more information on rocketcitynow.com. In Huntsville, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WZDX Sports.